Oh, hello. Bygones. No wait, no drilling for you. Uh oh, he's drilling. No, nope, never mind. Goodbye. Beautiful. Um, drill boy build got absolutely messed up by the massive wedge. I love it. All right, everybody. Hello and welcome back to another episode on Cross Out with me, Spacefish. And welcome back to our beautiful, beautiful hangar and our renewed drill boy build. As you can see, up here in the corner, we're kind of a bit low on money. And there's a very, very good reason for it. I finally managed with a lot of grinding in between episodes to get where we wanted to be. And we do finally have a beautiful new generator that we can plunk on all our cars in order to up that power limit and allow us to improve our designs even more. As you can see, I uh, chose the smaller one off the two, which does come with less durability and uh, more of a blast if it does end up blowing up, unfortunately. Uh, but, well, that's the one that fits our designs better, so I kind of chose to go that way in the very end and um well fingers crossed that i made the right choice there uh so we're gonna go and um put that onto at least our pvp designs today and we're gonna see if we can already make some small changes with this or if we will need some more money i do know that at some places we will have to grind a bit more for those like uh, on top weapons and stuff that we will want to plonk on um but for a start you know gonna do that then we're gonna see where we stand and then we're probably going to go for a bit of fun pvp as well today but just quickly before we get started if you're new around here and if you haven't enjoyed this episode please make sure to smash that subscribe button right down below we're trying to hit 1k subscribers at the moment still a good bunch to go and every single one would truly help out a ton with that out of the way though let's go right into build mode and uh, let's raise this thing because well this um drill boy build is kind of the prime reason that i wanted that better generator so badly because if you remember these borers up front here take two power and we will get one more unit of power only, admittedly, with the generator. But we do still have this one lonely booster back here, which, while it certainly can be a tad bit handy in uh, some situations, I'm very much considering to just get rid of it and slap on a third drill up front in order to be doing even more damage than before and just exploding people even faster and i think that is probably the best way to be moving with this design so please uh, of course feel free to let me know down below in the comments uh, what you think about it this is the one design that i do know we're going to need more money for because in one of these drills i think it's like 40 or 50 bucks so we're going to need to make those um so there's easily going to be an episode of time for you all to let me know your uh, ideas and thoughts on that but i I'm quite sure at this point that this booster is probably going to be going and uh, you know that way we can probably also improve our armoring towards the back a bit you know uh, by uh, just turning these things inwards and um, well having a little bit of protection well a little of extra protection on that end so that's the idea for now as I said let me know your thoughts but what we're definitely going to do then is we're going to have to go and remove this generator down here and um, a crucial point really being I will be able to sell this generator on the flea market as well and I'm most certainly going to go do that because if we have a better one no point really in keeping this one I think this was worth a fair bit as well. I mean, it's already a blue generator, so maybe we can at least make a bit a tad bit of money on this one and reinvest that into some other parts like those drills um, or like something else. You know, we, we will see about that. For now, though, uh, let me mute my phone. Apologies for that. And let me also go and lower my camera and kind of sort of sync this thing in right here. Here. I hope that now actually has the same size as our other generator. Because it does currently not very much feel like it. I suppose we definitely need to turn this more like that. Yeah, now, okay, no, it is definitely the other the same size. Just had to kind of finagle around with it a tad bit to make sure that it does actually fit in. But there you can see... Our new generator, same height, same size, sort of-ish, 
And we do now have another point of power. Absolutely beautiful. Now, uh, the only concern from my side actually being that maybe a bit exposed to the front. But I guess we do have the drills in front of that. I mean, that, that's, that's not for this generator in particular, but really for any sort of something. I mean, these things are really poking out quite a fair bit. Maybe we should... Uh, and just like move those drills up by a tad bit, have a bit more of a frame here in front, and then just do another layer of armoring or something up front. I'm not sure, you know, maybe we can do something there for the sturdiness of the build. I do have to say, I mean, I've been playing this build a bit more now in between episodes, and I'm really liking it. I think it is an improvement. I think we will stick to this one. Um, it does still feel a bit uh, flimsy in some situations, so I think reinforcing things with a bit of on top armor. Um, or a tad bit of adjustments here and there will not be the worst idea in the world after all. Uh, but that is the generator uh, plunked onto this thing for now then. I mean, we do have one extra power point. We just can't really do anything with one point of power and we don't have the drill. So we're going to leave it at that for this build. And we are going to go and save it down here for the time being because of course just in case we do want to actually go back to the other build we still have that design up there now um let's go and assemble our wedge build here too um because evidently i mean we will have some sort of benefit in one way or another for this build and we will have to see just how we do want to benefit here in the end i mean we do have the radiator here we do not have an engine on this yet and i'm wondering how much power did the engine actually take just one unit of power that may be the way to go then honestly uh like even if we upgrade the shotguns on this and i've really been holding on this uh well holding back on this kind of intentionally because the better shotguns don't really do more damage they're just more durable which is I mean, it's a nice thing, but rarely people even aim for the guns in this game, which I find quite surprising, because I keep continuously disabling people like that with this sort of build. Um, but at least, you know, at the levels that I'm playing at, it hasn't really been a big issue thus far, and if I don't get more damage, or at least, like, more shots before overheating or something, I'm not too tempted, to be honest. Um, so we don't need anything more in regards to that, and we can't really get another shotgun on there if we don't want to get rid of the boosters, which, I mean, this is a wedge build, so we definitely want to keep the boosters. And then the only thing that I can really imagine would be an engine. I mean, we could, alternatively, I guess, have something like a cloak going or so. So that maybe being a long-term option, but I think for the time being, we just may slap our engine on here, which would require us probably making a bit of space because I'm not sure we can fit that in there but we'll check that out in a second let's first things first do the necessary change which is removing the blue generator and putting on our brand new fancy dun horse no wait what <laughs> that was the engine the ampere is of course our new generator so we're going to put that one on um after a tad bit of turn -roo. sort of like that boom there goes our new generator, absolutely beautiful, we can lower that car again, and we do now have an extra energy point, so we can technically slap this thing on now, you can see, we're a bit constrained for space here, so what may or may not be an option, will it be an option? No, I think we've only got three space back here, so we cannot just move that radiator over, but um, move the radio somewhere else. Uh, I'm not quite sure where to slap that engine onto. I'm really not quite sure. Hmm. Do we want to slap it in the front here? Probably not as much, to be honest. Would it fit in there? I mean, if we remove that paneling, maybe we can sink it in there? Let's give it a try, I suppose. Oh, wait, right there. <laughs> the wheels are right there. Don't mind me. Kind of forgot about that part. Um... Hmm. Tough one. I am very unsure about this. Like, the thing is, you know, we can, we can sort of just simulate this a bit. So what we can do, of course, is take the radio away and just um, plunk that in. Well, that is not quite ideal, but we, we, we can find a spot to plunk that into. And move the radiator one over here. 
Right, so given that this thing does, to my knowledge, only, yeah, it does only require two spaces, we would, in theory, be able to sink it in there if it wasn't too long, because... Well, we can't even really properly make up three spaces here, given the booster. Not even speaking about four. Hmm. Not entirely sure what to do with that now, to be honest. I do really want that thing on here, but, um... How if I lay this flat do I need three or four spaces it kind of looks like it's four yeah so hmm. you know we could elongate this thing a bit again but it is admittedly already quite long the thing is that the wheels up front of course are taking up a bit of space in the way there so that's why we can't just sink it under here. Then we have the cabin in the middle, of course. I mean, we could probably move these walls a tad bit outside and offset the cabin and not have it centered. I'm not too sure how much of a fan of that solution I am, though, admittedly. I do feel like that would absolutely mega crazy annoy my OCD quite a lot. We could also just have the engine slapped on top of here like that. Well, maybe not because it's in the way of the shotguns, but you know. We can do some weird and funky stuff like this. Um, I don't know. You know, it's... Oh, wait, actually. The engine is not as... Hmm... Where would I put the radiator of question? If we were to move the boosters there, right? Oh, that's the same spot again. If we were to move the boosters back one like that, yeah. We took the radiator out, we laid the engine into the bottom of this. And we plunk the radiator on top. I mean, we could do something a little bit like that. It would somewhat impede on the firing arcs of our shotguns as well, though. Which is kind of the same issue that I had with my uh, engine, of course. Alternatively... Oh, boy. Uh, this build mode is really not quite doing what I wanted to. You know, what I'm wondering is, uh... No, we cannot... Yeah, right, so this thing was one... One too wide to just lay it down. Can I move the cabin up by one? Do I still have space to do that? I can, but the issue is I think the second I remove that cabin, it's going to all go whack, isn't it? Um, let's save this thing for a second. I'm, qu I'm quite sure that I'm going to break it now. Just just already warning you, it's gonna happen, I'm gonna break it, um, but that's why we're saving it, so we can just roll things back. I would really like to try moving the cabin up by one, but I think if the second I do this, this entire build is gonna break. Uh, oh, well, that's, that's evidently not the cabin. But yeah, you can see, I mean, there would be one frame space here, so if I could move it up by one, this entire issue would instantly be solved. Why can I not set it down there? Is the shotgun maybe just in the way? Let's put these aside for a quick second. We're literally taking the entire thing apart here. Boom. Right, so. Can this thing... Is that already the max? Is that basically just collision up front there, or...? Oh, I know the issue, I think. What if I do this? Okay. I think we need a part like... Here-ish? I'm not sure. Like, we need some sort of part to plunk it onto, right? The issue being... Yeah, it needs to be placed on a frame. So... The question is sort of where does it attach in the end? Where's my frame bit? 
Okay, that attaches all the way till there. Yeah, so I think... Hmm, let's, let's put that there again. Um, if we do manage to get a frame into this little spot right here, we should be able to do this. Now, can we move the radiator by one? Oh no, there's a piece. Why is there a piece of frame in there? Oh, to shield off things. Hmm. Maybe not the smartest move in the universe, but we can hopefully make it work like this regardless. Um, lots of building today, I suppose. Um, it, on today's episode of how complicated it can be to make a single upgrade, I'm showing you just how bad you can... Uh, <laughs> How bad you can make things, basically. Um, I would need like a very short and small frame. Where's the spot where I would need to slide it into here? Yeah, so I guess. Can we get rid of that for a second? Hello? Please? Thank you. Um, I suppose that we will definitely have to take this that bit off. I'm quite intrigued by the fact that, oh yeah, right, no, this, this frame, no. This frame's not connected to the other bits of the frame. What in the world have I been doing there? Kind of want to have that connected properly. Kind of good that we at least spotted that little building floor. Do we have that on the other side as well, where it's not connected all the way through? No, this one's connected all the way through. Okay, so we fixed the little building floor there on the way. That's good. Would have never, never, ever spotted that otherwise. Now we can move that generator to there. Now we're going to need a new frame because I used the old one. We can make it a 1x6, I guess, so it goes all the way through. And then, you know, everything's a bit more streamlined and tightly together. Um, I am... I'm going to put another 1x4 on the outside here for my little safeguarding of the explosive bits. Which is probably not the worst idea, you know. Just uh, making sure things are hopefully a bit more safe down there. And then, yes, now it fits. Okay, beautiful. So, um, was a little complicated one, I guess. But, we're making it work. I am very happy about that. We are going to go move the shotgun back to here. We're going to move the... Little shotgun protector frame thingy back to there. Can we move the shotgun up one more? We can. Cool. That is beautiful. Now, we should have the ability to... Well, we're going to take that engine out for a second. I think the... Is the radiator more important to us than the engine? I think so, honestly. We want to be able to fire those guns for as long as possible. Then we put that radiator in there. We put the engine on top. And look at that. Beautiful. Absolutely flawless. Works. I like it. Okay. Well, um, that was a bit more of a struggle than I had anticipated. But we made things work. And we now have an engine which should give us... um. More speed, more power, more of a tonnage limit, more of everything, basically. Uh, so, absolutely beautiful. It should also, honestly, allow us to slap on some more armor, which, uh, looking at these bits and bobs, we may really want some more armor. You know, would be quite cool. We could even move this radio off to here. Right. And then, like, sink in some armor there. I guess we're doing a bit of a rebuild now, you know? How are we doing? We do have a bit of tonnage left over, in terms of potential, um, so, yeah, we can go for it, I guess. Um, we are going to go for, I want like a 4x4 four four panel. Do we have such things? We have these, but those are usually quite heavy, uh, heavy rather. These avia panels should be working out nicely. What I do want to do though, honestly, oh wait. Really? No, there we go. Uh, we're going to sink these in, basically. And then we're going to slap those on top. Because I think, honestly, these avia panels look a whole lot better. But I do want to kind of line them with the rest of the avia panels that we're going to have. So, you know. Boom. Now, uh, I mean, the boosters are sticking out a bit more than previously, so I'm not liking that too much, but um, 
I guess it is what it is. Maybe we can make some more adjustments there later down the line. Now, uh, I would love to plunk down some more armor here as well, to be honest. I don't really want to crazily overdo things the first second, though. So, I mean, I guess this is a start. And then if we want to advance this even further, we can always go for it a bit later. So, that is our new Wedgie Boy design. Doesn't even look too different from the old one, but we do now pack an engine. We do now pack a tad bit more armor. And, uh, well, you know, generator. And everything beautiful we we do have a little bit more leeway on the mass side of things so we can probably slap on some more armor when we want to um especially like there i kind of want some armor why do we not have any armor right there wait okay i mean maybe we look at that at least real quick uh, we could do this well the narrow wing is a bit wide unfortunately um Got those avia slopes, which are not too big, but we could probably... Do something like that. I mean, maybe we just do these, honestly. Yeah, right. Let's do those. And probably like one or two of the... Oh, no! Parts limit! Oh, rip. Okay. Um, I guess we do one in the middle here. To kind of improve our wedginess and, uh, you know, small, uh, like, uh, not small, and to make that little slit a little smaller there so that we don't, um, you know, take damage through there as much, I suppose. Now, uh, real quick thing paint, cannot forget about that. I'm gonna make the vehicle look all beautiful and everything, and, uh, that means painting all the new parts, I guess. We can even paint the engine real quick. Is that painted? I guess it is. And, uh... Yeah. That works. Beautiful. Right. One more save. Um, lots of time spent on building today. I don't even know, guys. I didn't think this was take would take as long. But I guess, you know, we had to Tetris around a bit. And we found some building floors, which uh, is something. I like that. But uh, let's go... Um, before we actually go into battle, let, let, let's go take this out for a quick test drive, and then we're going to go take this out into battle. You can feel that it does have a little more acceleration, which is nice. Uh, of course, I mean, we do have our boosters. Top speed should be increased. And, uh, yeah. I mean, overall, I have to say, it doesn't feel too crazy, wildly different. I do also have to say, though. Hmm. Okay, uh, I may have made one vital mistake here. In terms of this panel thingy. I do not want that to be too much in the way. The thing is, if I do plunk these guns too far up front, we may also like have a bit of an issue. Like, if, if an explosive gun hits that, I may just rip all three off at once. But this approach may be a tad bit better. Oops getting stuck on my own wedge basically let me try this one oh right these are overheated let me wait for all to be okay yeah that's good enough I think we can work with that a uh, little bit of a fix there to be done I guess on the guns boom and now we're good to go. Let's go and take this out into a quick battle. Hopefully have some fun. Hopefully have a good game and not die within two seconds. I'll see you on the other side of this loading screen. Right. And here we are then for a quick game with our slightly revised drill boy build. Um, am I going to see if we need to get on the cab here? Do have a button here technically. I think... Uh, I think we're probably just going to move on around the outside of the map. This one is a new one, I think. I don't think I've played this map before, so... Uh, interesting. We'll see just how well that works out for us, I guess. Uh, now, A is about to be captured by the enemy team. They're also working on B. I do suspect... Oh, boy. There's like three people on that cap. Four people on that cap. Hmm. I don't like that. I think we're going to move on to B instead here. Leave me alone, Sophia. Don't do it. Oh, God. Freaking bots, I'm telling you. Okay. Hello. Sir. Can I interest you? 
in a little bit of transport. Right, we're going to help our team mate out here a bit. Boom. Beautiful. Um, and then we're going to go loop around again. Oh. Hello. Bye, guns. No wait. No drilling for you. Uh-oh. He's drilling. No, nope, never mind. Goodbye. Beautiful. Um, drill boy build got absolutely messed up by the massive wedge. I love it. Um... You're one of the few counters to drill boy builds, I guess, if you know how to play it. Oh! Don't wedge me! I'm sorry for driving in front of you, mate. Um, oh. Apologies. <laughs> I'm coming! Coming to help! This is going well thus far, I like it. Get rid of that bot's gun. Beautiful. Jamie is gone too. And now there's only Egor Dikari or something. Hello. Sir. I think I took a wheel off of his or something. Sir, you come with me now. <laughs> this is great. Oh my god, just the double wedge. <laughs> that went quite well. I really enjoyed that game, I have to say. Um, the engine certainly has its benefits. It's not the craziest change in the world, but it is a nice addition to the build. And, uh, well, other than that, you know... Doing quite well, I would argue. Um, very much liking the changes. Very much looking forward to also upping the performance of the Drill Boy build with an extra drill, though. Um, for that, as I previously said, we're going to require about 50 bucks, I think. So I'm going to work on getting those. I'm going to work on getting the drill in between episodes. And uh, then we're hopefully going to go and improve that build as well and have even more fun with it. So very much looking forward to that for today. I'm going to have to end it off right here. I did uh, honestly hope we were going to get some more PvP episodes in, but somehow uh, the Tetris just took its uh, time. So that is what it is. And we're going to get back to that in the next episode. For today, though, if you happen to enjoy this episode, please make sure to smash that like button right down below. That does always help out a ton with the performance of the videos. And if you're new around here and haven't done so just yet, also please consider smashing that subscribe button right down down below as well as hitting that bell icon in order to stay up to date on all those future upcoming episodes but with all that out of the way then everyone thank you so much for watching and i hope i will catch you in the next one very very soon ciao